Hi guys, welcome back to E Roddick the Brand, the podcast, the YouTube, the website, whatever. Okay, I'm a dating coach. Hi, my name is Eden Lee Middleman. I'm trying to switch up my fucking intro. I also have a cameo if you want to send me scenario based things you need advice on, and I will do my very best. I'll send you a personal video, voice message, text, whatever the case may be, and we can work shit out. You're welcome in advance. Okay. I want to talk about the phone, you and your partner and the goddamn phone. I know so many people are going to be down my throat. I mean, you fucking wish, but down my throat about phone etiquette and privacy. Oh, my God. You guys love the word privacy. Oh, my God. You guys milk the word privacy. Meanwhile, you're like fucking online cheating. OK, what privacy, baby? What privacy? You're just a piece of shit. That's that's the truth. So let's get into it. Because, you know, today we're all on our phones. We have our phones glued to us for work purposes, social media purposes, whatever purposes. You think you're like, I don't know, president of the goddamn world and you need your phone glued to your face all the time. I'm saying this and I do the same. Okay, all right, we get it. There is something to be said about phone etiquette that maybe your mommy and daddy didn't teach you. And I'm going to set the record straight. If you're in a serious relationship, there is no such thing as phone privacy. (laughs) I laugh when people say it's an invasion of my privacy. Um, it's only an invasion of of your privacy if you're scared of what I'm gonna see. That's the truth, right? Like you'll only say that if there's shit that I shouldn't see, and that's facts, right? When you start dating somebody and you're in a serious relationship, all of your sex, disgusting videos, pictures. Um, contacts of ex-girlfriends, ex-fuck buddies should be deleted and cleaned off as well as your social media. It's that simple. And if somebody needs to tell you to do that, you're the fucking problem. Now, if you don't agree with me, then go find somebody that agrees with you on that. But if you're a girl or if you realize that the vast majority of people, girl or guy, have had a problem with this with you, then you're the fucking problem. Thank you. Or if you're okay with other people doing the same things you do on your phone, then go date them. Let's see. Two insecure little fucking people on their phones all day cheating on each other. What a great relationship that seems like. And why am I jumping to conclusions about cheating? Because the truth is, if you're on social media and you're looking at half naked girls, and you have a girl at home you're a piece of shit being in a monogamous relationship means that you physically mentally emotionally all of that stuff and visually should not be fucking looking fantasizing or thinking about other women that way and because social media has become literally soft porn central i mean you got to clean that shit off and you guys know to do this even before you start seriously dating because girls and guys are getting a lot smarter and looking at your following list and what you are following what you willingly choose to follow there is no gun to your head (laughs) goes to show what you look at what you want to look at what your browser history probably looks like if not times a thousand for sure times a thousand and it's an ick for any classy woman and any classy man period period argue with me only the losers only and I said what I said only the dirty losers who want to you know, like look at half naked girls and look at half naked guys and like DM them and like their content and hopefully try and get their attention while they're in a relationship. Those are the only ones that are talking about privacy on the phone. Those are the only ones, the shady motherfuckers. So here's the thing. If you're going to lose your mind about that, let me tell you right the fuck now. This ain't the place for you. OK, no, this is not all inclusive. No, no, no. We don't like dirt bags here. OK, and I don't endorse dirt bags here. Oh, no, I don't want him to look at my texts with my girlfriends, my best friend. If you're shitting on your man, then there's a fucking problem. Here's the thing. My phone's open for my man. My man's phone is open for me. I will not be in a relationship without that being the rule. I can look through your phone if I want to, if I'm bored. If your partner is coming from, you know, traumatic past or you fuck them over, there will be. Uh, you know issues with them wanting to look through your phone all the time but if you have nothing to hide giving them your phone be like here you go and if there's any questions you tell me after a while eventually that'll ease their curiosity and if not obviously then your partner is an unhealthy partner and then you need to make the decision for yourself if this is somebody you want to be with or work through this with and that's totally up to you and I get that if, if it's not for you if we're talking about healthy people here, and I'm not going to extremes and the different circumstances and the what ifs. I know that you guys love to do that. I'm talking about decently healthy people in relationships, okay? If you take your phone to the washroom with you, bad etiquette. You put your phone face up on the table and you leave the room. Your partner's there. They can look at it. They can touch it if they want to. And you're okay with that. And same goes for the other person. 
It should be a two-way street. When you guys are date night, phones are put away. Face up on the counter. Face up on the table if you really want to. Or put away entirely. If you're driving, them touching your phone and changing the music, them knowing your fucking password for the phone should be 100% what you guys know about each other. One of the first things you should know about if you're putting a label on it. Sorry. It's that simple. It's trust building. It has nothing to do with privacy. If you think that you need privacy on the phone, I want to ask you, what is there that you need to be private about? If you're sleeping with your partner, if you're talking to them about everything all the time, every day, if you have a healthy relationship and everything's on the table and they've seen you at your most vulnerable, what is there to be private about? The conversations you have with your boys when you hang out with them, that's private. The conversations you have with your family, that's private. But hiding shit on your phone, private? What, what, what privacy do you have in relationships? And there's nothing wrong with that. You guys say, oh my God, I have no privacy in my relationship. I mean, if you're taking a fucking dump on the toilet and they're standing next to you like a puppy, then yeah, okay, we've got some issues here. But if my man asks me who am I texting, I'm, I'm going to tell him. <laughs> if I ask him who he's texting, he's going to tell me. If not, show me. Oh, I'm texting. Oh, it's okay, babe. I don't need to see it. No, it's okay. This is us constantly making sure that the trust is never to be questioned. And phone etiquette and the phone has been one of the reasons for so many couples' insecurities and trust issues because chances are we've all had a shady partner in the past who has used their phone for shitty fucking things. Am I endorsing looking through your partner's phone? No. But if you want to once in a while, why the fuck not? As long as it's not becoming an unhealthy behavior. Don't get it twisted. If you're looking to find something, you're self-sabotaging there's something going on with you. If they've given you no reason to not trust them, then you should trust them. You understand? And if trust is broken, that's the name of the game of love, baby. Here we are. It's a trade-off. It's a gamble. Just like everything in life really is. Anything worthwhile. Another thing about phone, you know, fuck the privacy thing. That's just a case in point kind of situation. Just as you are respectful in person, the phone is not a different type of reality. You understand? You guys think that the phone is a pause on reality. Now, motherfuckers, you're still living life on the phone. What you do on the phone is you doing it on the phone. You searching it, you looking at it, you zooming on it, you liking it. That's you. There's no hacker. There's no accidentally liking. There's no none of that shit. All right. We're not stupid anymore. So understand that the accountability you hold for yourself day to day with how you behave with, you know, if you hit on women or men or you don't in a relationship, be the same online. It's the same reality. It's the same life. A phone is not a pause. A phone is not a cheat code. It's not a loophole. And that's what you guys think it is. And that's why, oh, privacy on my phone, privacy. What privacy? If you're in a serious relationship, what privacy? All right? You want a roommate? Then get a fucking roommate. Don't get a relationship then. Don't get into a relationship. Don't fuck your roommate then. You understand? It's just, where can I win? Can I have my cake and eat it too? It doesn't make sense. There's going to be things you need to sacrifice and privacy is one of them. And there's nothing wrong with that if, if you have a good relationship. My man knows what I eat, where I am, what I'm doing. I know, I know the same and who cares? I enjoy knowing that stuff. It's not coming from a negative place. We're, we love being together. We love hanging out. We love knowing things about each other. We love hearing the stories at the end of the day. We love making fun of like weird DMs we get or like whatever. We love looking at that stuff together. We love sharing that with each other because that grows our relationship because we're smart. We're not stupid. Another tip I love to implement, especially if your partner is anxious um, or has issues with the phone or whatever, it's not that you can't be on your phone around them. It's be on your phone, but let them know what you're doing. And that's not reporting to them. It's just if you're on your phone and they're sitting there and staring at you and kind of like, what the fuck, you know, and you guys are just chilling. Be like, oh, I'm just texting my mom about this. Oh, like my buddy just texted me or my, you know, my girl just texted me. We're making plans or like I'm figuring out my gym schedule or I just got an email from work one second I'm sorry like just letting them know what they're doing and, and stating it allows them to feel involved and gives them the sense of like even subconscious relief if they're not super concerned about it but out of respect if you're in front of them in their space if you guys are hanging out and you happen to be on your phone announce what you're doing that's just I think proper etiquette 
that's just being polite. If I'm at a girl's night, okay, to my friends, I do this. And I pull out my phone. I'm like, oh, my God, sorry. My boyfriend just texted me. just asking where I'm at. Give me one second. Simple. Wow, she's so kind. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I know it's fine, but I just, it's rude if I don't. It's rude if I don't. If I'm doing it in your face, it's rude if I don't tell you. Now, I don't know who raised you guys. All right. I don't know who raised you guys. This is proper phone etiquette in goddamn relationships. All right. There's no privacy. You want to have a shared bank account. There's no privacy. You want to split bills. There's no privacy. You want to live in the same house. There's no privacy. So what the fuck does the phone have to do with privacy? Period. I'm not saying that it's the guy that needs to be careful of his phone and not the girl. I'm saying both of you guys need to clean that shit up. Both of you guys need to be transparent. Both of you guys need to agree with this. Okay, and if you don't agree with this, then like I said, go find somebody who's doing shady shit just like you are on your phone. Let's see if that sits well for you. <laughs> it's so funny. Like for me, it, it's very crazy when people make this argument about privacy. Well, okay, your partner's doing the same. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Okay, until you one day, because everything always comes out. Like one day you figure out wh- why they were really screaming privacy from the top of the rooftops. Privacy. That's just being a fucking asshole. <laughs> being shady. Call me old fashioned, call me whatever. If you're in a serious relationship, if you're, you know, not like a fucking, I don't know how old, like a 15 years old, you know, like this would probably register. If you guys are thinking of building a future together and the phone is a touchy subject for you, I mean, this is not going to work out. Let me tell you that. It's just not going to work out. It's going to cause more friction down the line. It's going to snowball and become a bigger trusting thing. You both should be open with your stuff. There should be nothing to hide. And if there is something to hide, then you need to reevaluate what you're doing in a relationship to somebody who is probably a good person and doesn't deserve this. If there is shit from your past, clean that shit up before you get into a relationship or when you're at the stages where you do feel like you guys are getting serious or even if you're like just trying to intentionally date all the past people, all the past photos, all the past like weird, gross shit, the group chat stuff, guys purge clean grow the fuck up how about that how about that grow the fuck up (laughs) thank you guys so much for watching and listening to this smaller bite size maybe intense episode about phone etiquette and your relationship don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel and hit the bell for notifications if you're listening to the podcast give it five large and in charge stars and follow my podcast so i can continue giving you guys more of this shit I talk about more than just this stuff. I do more than just yell, I promise. Talk about sex, dating, love, and life, self-confidence, and all that good stuff. If you do want one-on-one coaching services, I am offering that on my website, which will be linked in the description below for the YouTube and the podcast. Thank you guys for listening and being here till the very end. I appreciate you so much and take care. I love you guys.